Hello there, beautiful people, and oh, welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that don't know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, and I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them, so don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or rely on these expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, not let you be the judge, now respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the free shipping progress bar upsell widget on your Shopify cart page, and it's highly customizable, and it will calculate the amount until the free shipping will be unlocked and you can adjust the amount of that of that unlocked shipping and of course the widget will not show up if the cart is empty it will only show up when there is products in the cart so no worries you can customize the heading you can customize the message you can customize the amount you can customize the color and no not by editing the code you will do all of this just by using buttons and options from team customizer and i will show you how to do that for both down team and the other like refresh and sense the old ones and i will show you how to do that for the new ones which is horizon and the other variants so no worries guys i got you whatever if you're using horizon the new team i will show you how to add that and whatever if you're using down team or the one of the previous teams i will show you how to do that as well because they require different steps but it's very simple and no worries all my tutorials i try to teach you like you are five years old <laughs> And I'm just joking, I'm sure you're not. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations, but a video like 50 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's filtered by if I click on the tab for Google, only the reviews from Google and so on for the others. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and no applications involved and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to, first time visitors or returning visitors, and also the interval between each one and position and the colors and many, many more options that you don't even need. And yeah, by using your own custom code. But I'm about to show you in this video, as I said, which is the free shipping progress bar upsell widget on the cart page. So let me access the cart page. Oops, <laughs> you see this one? This is actually an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And this is by using the mouse cursor. It's exit and 10 trigger. So I was uh, like the mouse cursor reached here and it detects me like I was trying to leave the page. Then it will show up. And yes, this is by using your own custom code, no applications involved. Make sure to check out the channel, man. So <laughs> I apologize, I quit now. So let me access the cart page and show you what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, countdown timer on the cart page. I did that in video. So instead of this cart uh, <laughs> countdown timer, sorry, it will be uh, a widget, upsell widget, which is the free ship and progress bar. So for example, I have here, uh, by the way, if you want to add those icons again, interactive below the checkout button, I did that in video again. So as I said, if let's just say I want to unlock the checkout, the free shipping for users after they reach 1000. So I will uh, type in in the settings $1,000. So it will show here the difference. It will tell, yeah, you almost got the free shipping. You just need to add this amount to unlock the free shipping. And there is a progress bar, uh, progress bar which shows you uh, how far you are from unlocking that free shipping and it's stylish of course i will not share anything with you guys in this if it's not stylish check out just the countdown timer it's uh, like you get the idea so we will get back again to shopify dashboard and do the trick come back in here and see it in action so the first thing you're going to do is access shopify dashboard and by the way i already removed the countdown timer just so you can see you're not confused so you will place it here so get back to Shopify dashboard. And if you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store and click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left to customize and click on edit code. And by the way, 
we will do the trick first on down team then we will do the trick on this one which is horizon team so i got you whatever if you're using down or horizon so really click on the three dots and click on edit code then it will take you to the code editor for your shopify team and in here on the left panel you see this folder right here there is a folder called snippets click on snippet like this to be expanded then click on the first option which is add a new snippet click on it and name it on how dash free uh, i added a dot be very careful when you name it because if you miss name it something else it will not work free dash shipping just like you see let me zoom in on it so you can see clearly on how dash free dash shipping just like this then click on done then it will create the file completely empty and we need to paste in the code here for the snippet then it will create the file completely empty and in here we need to paste in the code obviously and where are you gonna get that code from description box scroll down description box and you will see a link my website completely free again it's very it's free this code is free i repeat click on the file uh, click on the website and you will see an image on my website that says get the code then simply click on it then download the file a zip file has two files has this file right here on how dash free dash shipping dot liquid and another file called schema where we'll get back to it later so simply open this file right here on how dash free dash shipping dot liquid open it with any text editor then copy the whole code inside it then simply paste it in here that was very simple right after that click on the save button now we're almost done get back to the search bar in here and simply type in schema just like you see oh, oops i mistyped it here it is you will see this file right here called settings uh, underscore schema .json. this file right here click on it a bunch of code will show up no worries scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's actually a huge file in here and at the bottom you see there is these two uh, brackets as you can see click front of uh, the one before the last one this one right here the one before the last one then click on enter on your keyboard here we go this is just to create some space and if you are wondering why we need to create some space because we need to pass in the code and we're gonna get that code from the second file that you did download from my website which is schema.json open that file again with any text editor on your computer then copy the whole code inside it then simply pass it in here that was very simple right after that click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds and now it's saved after it's saved actually stay on my website let me open my website so you can see because I, I don't want you to get confused here is very simple as you can see here is for down and the others by the others i mean sense refresh and so on so find this file main dash car dash items dot liquid so use the search bar again as you can see and simply type in main dash card and you will see this one main dash card dash items dot liquid click on it a bunch of liquid code will show up no worries click on the code just like you want to write something then on your keyboard if you are using windows click on control uh, control f i'm on mac i'm going to click on command f and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page and this prompt will help us find a specific section on this code now get back to my website and simply uh, select this one right here uh, card underscore content as you can see copy it then get back in here and place it in the search bar so it will find us for it here it is it did highlight it as you can see let me zoom in on it so you can see this is the code as you can see it did find it for us uh, and in case above it there is no space click front of the last thing above it which is my case is closing tag for div then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we created a new space why is that because we need to pass in a code in here where are you gonna get that code from my website again <laughs> everything is very simple click on this icon right here to copy the code then get back to the code editor then simply pass it in here that's very simple now if we click on the save button and we exit from the code editor and we get back to the customizer team customizer and let's just switch to the card page from here and yeah it will not show up because the card is empty what's the point of upsell widget when the card is empty no worries on the left panel you see this icon right here for the settings simply click on it then below in here you will see this new option on how free shipping as you can see if we click on it you will see uh, show uh, shipping in a, a card drawer enable this option and this is the minimum free shipping so this is the amount that the user has to reach in order to unlock the free shipping but in my case if you saw my cart has like 800 let me see again as you can see let's just say 1000 so let's just say 2000 yeah 
2000. So I want the user to reach 2000, then the, L, the, the free shipping will be unlocked. And there's the progress bar color. You can uh, adjust this to different color if you want. And the shipping icon color as well. There is a shipping icon. You will see that in a second. And the text before the amount, you are, uh, uh, it will show you are and the amount, the difference away from the free shipping. You can adjust this if you want. You can even make this one bold if you want like this. Then below is the free shipping text. Once uh, you, you enable it, like once you reach the ship, uh, free shipping, I mean the user reach the free shipping, the, the, the message that we see. And adjust this with the code for the discount that has the free shipping. Create a discount for free shipping and uh, edit it in here, pass the code in here. So once the user reached the, ship, uh, the free shipping, uh, he will uh, unlock this message and he will be able to use the code. Very simple, right? And below is the shipping text color if you want to adjust the text color and the size for the text and the, the text alignment, left or center or right. Let's just click on save now and see that in action so you can understand what it does basically. So if I get back in here, reload the page, I should see a progress bar. Here it is. As you can see, it says you are 1100 60.05 which is exactly the difference between this one and 2000 the amount I did set as you can see and it has this one right here you can change the color for it as I said and there is the progress bar has a nice gradient color and this is where I reached right now so I need a lot of money to reach the free shipping as you can see so this is how it looks like and it functions on down team how to do this on horizon team that's very simple. We will get back again to the code editor for Horizon Team. So click on the three dots of Horizon Team and click on edit code and it will take us to the code editor. And in here we need to redo the same exact steps. And what I mean by exact steps, this ones. I already did them just now, power of video editing. So the same exact steps we did before, add the snippet on how dash free shipping dot liquid and add the code from the code you downloaded from my website in it and same again schema exact same things i did on down team do them for uh, horizon team and all the, and the other variants however just the last step which is a little bit different get back to my website in here and you will see the steps in here so find this snippet right here cart summary dot liquid so search on the using the the search bar for cart dash summary and you will see right here a snippet not block i repeat this one has underscore which is a block do not add access this one is for the snippet click on it this is very important and after that get back to my website then copy this code right here let me copy it using the same icon get back in here and in case there is no space like this it will be like this simply click behind dev like this and hit enter it will create space and paste it as the first thing in the code the first line pasting the code that you did copy then click on the save button and now let's just get back and do the same exact step customize and we go to the settings and you will see it here it is on how free shipping click on it and set exact amount let's just say 2002 and again same settings i will not change anything just make sure to keep this one enabled that's very important and it's already there so let's just click on preview and see here is the team let's just check out the cart page and here it is now it doesn't show up here because the layout of the cart page on horizon is a little bit different but it works exactly the same you are blah 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 away from the free shipping and this is the progress bar and this is the icon as you can see and it shows up here above you can make this text bold so it will be more obvious or add a, like a more obvious color something that would attract attention but blue is nice as you can see and that's how you add the free ship and progress bar upsell widgets on both down team and as well as horizon team and completely free so what else you need i actually need something for you hit that like button please and leave me a comment i do reply to each comment so i appreciate it and i will reply to you as well but for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.